when you create voiceover first we need text and this text is different than the text which you would write for a blog post or article words should be simple phrases should be short language should be uh, easy to un understand and, and overall it should be uh, easy to comprehend and then written text that's why we created AI assistant in Kukarela that uh, creates text for voiceover. And it not only follows all those rules which I told you about, but it also adds some third dimension uh, to the post. Like it can go an extra mile for you. So, uh, for example, we asked Load, which is one of the best language models uh, to generate a script teaching basic phrases in French and this is the result it created a list of most popular greetings courtesies essential questions and phrases basically it's a dictionary where you use when where you read a phrase or word in French transcription which uh, helps you to understand how it sounds in translation. How is it different uh, from dictionary? Um, not sure, it's probably the same. What is the chance you can remember all this? Chances are pretty slim because it just gives you a list of words and you have to remember all of them and there is no way you can do that and maybe after 10 words you, you're bored and um, completely lost so what you need is something different so this, this is the text which was created by AI assistant in Cucurella for the same prompt it's the same prompt generate a script teaching basic phrases in French this is what we got in Cucurella it does uh, provide words, but it explains each word, how to use it, when to use it. And not only that, it it's also tells you what is their perfect conversation starter for asking directions or seeking assistance. And explains what can what phrases can save you from awkward situations. Remember, it reminds you that it's always appreciated when you try to speak French first before reverting to English. And yeah, so that's how it's different because when when you want to explain a concept, you probably should look at that concept from different angles, from different points of view. And that's exactly what AI assistant and Cucarella does for you. Not only that, when you create a text for voiceover in Ukarela, the system assigns a voice. And uh, as you can see, there are some phrases which combine English and French words. This voice can read them both as native speaker. Let's listen to a couple paragraphs. Now imagine you're at a charming Parisian cafe, ready to order your first authentic French croissant. Here's where je voudrais. I would like comes in handy. Je voudrais un café, s'il vous plaît. I would like a coffee, please. Voilà, you've just placed your first French order. Okay, next one. But what if you don't understand something? Don't panic. Simply say, je ne comprends pas, I don't understand. Or ask, parlez-vous anglais? Do you speak English? Remember, it's always appreciated when you try to speak French first before reverting to English. Yeah, and not just that, not just that uh, dimension. We also tried uh, to create an uh, AI that uh, remembers about language uh, conventions. Because sometimes when you translate something uh, to a um, different language, there is no way you can know uh, every single uh, convention. For example, in some languages, when you say uh, a date 
you would say something like August 1st, 2024. Uh, In other languages, it will it will start with uh, date, not month. And uh, in in English, you would uh, when you uh, say your phone number, it will sound different than when you say phone number in uh, French or in Italian or street names in Japan. In Japan, uh, naming convention convention for uh, address is completely different from naming convention in uh, in America or UK and. This system, AI system, uh, was taught to uh, keep that in mind and remember about that. Uh, also, when um, you create voiceover, uh, sometimes system uh, mispronounces certain words or numbers, phone numbers. With this system, you you'll be you'll be safe with it because instead of uh, numbers for long numbers it will be using words instead of a letter so that helps you to avoid confusion and mispronunciation now i will quickly show you how you can create um, text for voiceover with ai assistant if you go to uh, kukarela text to voice application you see two buttons create project and use assistant Create project allows you to open new project and where you can write text yourself. And user assistant opens this page where you can enter your prompt. Uh, you you can describe what you wanna see in that um, in that in that text. What what this text is about. You can say it. Just click on this button. Record. I want your, your voice system will transcribe it and paste it as a prompt you can upload files up to 10 files and ask AI to use those files as a reference for this uh, text or you can go to popular requests and choose category you see all prompts are organized by categories and you can ask AI to create text that topic let's choose one create an educational piece that simplifies scientific principle for a young audience we can create text about this concept Schrodinger's cat in a few seconds I will generate text which you, you can edit modify um, translate to other languages rephrase rewrite at least it will be some good beginning and it will save you lots of time you see it's done if you want to change anything you can use this assistant if you want to change paragraph use this SKI if you want to change the whole text you can use this one but I'm pretty sure that text as is is quite good and uh, you see I also recommended a voice to create voiceover so all you need to do now is to click play and you you're good to go so hope this helps and now you better understand the differences between text for voiceover and text for blog post or article if you have any suggestions on how we can improve our AI assistant. Please let us know. Um, we're happy to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.